Well, folks, another week and another national embarrassment. Just the last few weeks, the Biden administration has resorted to begging nations like socialist Venezuela for more oil. Now, the White House is so proud that they are scrambling our military to get baby formula from overseas. It's another mess for the wealthiest and most powerful nation on Earth because of a lack of leadership. The Biden administration knew in February that disruptions at the Abbott facility would likely cause shortages, yet it did nothing to address it or prepare the public. This week, President Biden claimed he had no idea that there would be a problem of this scale. Once again, folks, we are watching government create a problem, then attempt to fix it with smoke and mirrors and pat themselves on the back for their ingenuity. Unfortunately for Americans, the level of inaction and willful blindness is far worse than just the baby short formula shortage. Like inflation, formula shortages are not limited high-class problems, as White House Chief of Staff Ron Klain once said. They are a consequence of government's abuse of power and bad public policy. Case in point, only four companies in this country share 90 percent of the baby formula market because of government regulations and programs that limit competition. We have 17 percent import tariffs on baby formula, and we limit choice through welfare contracts that give producers a massive market share in states where they are the preferred vendor. Government programs give preferential treatment to welfare recipients and even illegal immigrants, as we've seen, over other Americans. The left, of course, they're not going to lift burdens on manufacturing to increase competition and consumer choice, and they're also not interested in addressing the impact of welfare monopolies. Now, to be fair, Biden didn't create this environment. Globalism did. High corporate taxation and overregulation did. They have led to supply chains that are massive, cumbersome, inefficient, and risky. But the president did vow to address what he called supply chain vulnerabilities and congestion to, as he said, speed up the movement of goods and lower costs. It's the same old song and dance, folks. Government will fix it and they're going to lower costs for you. But it never happens. The White House worked for months on a strategy to get products moving. But when its so-called flow plan was released, it took no major steps to address the larger systemic problems. They stacked the supply chain commission with companies that donated big to Democrats and made record profits off the supply chain crisis. They even included foreign companies who were also making record profits off of this mess. They had no interest in doing anything about it. Biden says onshoring production of more products is a priority, but he hasn't incentivized businesses to increase manufacturing here. The far left Biden agenda includes paying off student loans. That's right. Prioritizing debt relief for philosophy of women's studies, basket weaving majors or something when it should be incentivizing Americans to get CDL training and other workforce development measures to address our national trucker, dock worker, and rail worker shortage. Today, none of the top shipping lines in the world are American companies. Our merchant marine consists of a mere 80 U.S. flagged ships, and Biden has no plans to help restart America's shipping industry. Supply chain crises are happening because we abdicated control over our own economic destiny years ago. A lack of coherent strategy, policy innovation, and overall U.S. leadership isn't just perilous, folks, when it comes to American foreign policy. Weak leadership bereft of ideas has an impact on our economy and the quality of life for every American. Biden's latest bungle over baby formula should be a catalyst for larger systemic changes that lead to greater American economic resiliency, not phony plans meant to prevent the sinking of a beleaguered and bewildered president's political ship. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.